Hello and welcome to another Let's Play of Civilization VI, where today I'm playing as Pedro. I'm on Deity. I'm on a Seven Seas map. Everything else is uh, at the default. And I've got Secret Societies on because you all seem to be enjoying watching me play that. And I've got the brand new Tekken Civic Shuffle mode on. I haven't had uh, many chances to... Um, I've, I've poked around with it a little bit, but I haven't actually played a full game with it yet. So that's what I'm going to go for this time. And I'm actually also going to turn off the Bermuda Triangle and the Cliffs of Dover because we all hate the Cliffs of Dover. Just to, you know, show off that, hey, now we have that new mode, we can. And I'm going to go ahead and jump into this. This is very much a celebration of the August 2020 patch. I think that uh, the changes are kind of interesting. Uh, I don't know that I necessarily believe they've done enough to make amenities important. I haven't played a game yet, so I can't say for certain, but I don't think that these amenities uh, have made too much of a change, but I do like the idea of trying to buff the entertainment complex because there are many games that I've not built a single one. So that's why I'm playing Pedro today. He has that unique entertainment complex, which makes it a little bit more worth it overall, but also just getting the new major adjacency for theater scores can be quite interesting. And it also makes the Coliseum a little bit better of a wonder as well, because Coliseum has always been a strong wonder on paper, but uh, when you have the fact that it's so far out of your way... Oof. Oof. Um, okay. So... I could settle a plus five harbor, which might ultimately be the best for the health of the city, but I would quash a 2-3 tile. I think I have to move where my warrior is standing and take a plus 3 harbor. This would be a plus 4 campus. This would be a plus 4 holy site that doesn't have anything on it. Yeah, I think I have to move here. I'll take the plus 3 harbor. I'm probably not going to go for a harbor economy this time anyway. So we'll move across the river and we'll settle there. And I guess I should have moved my warrior first to see... But you know, we just had to pick up more land tiles for the capital. We can't we can't have our inner ring be all water. So we'll settle coastally. There's our boost for sailing. I'm going to want to go for a scout. All things considered, this is not going to be very strong capital long term, but it does give me quite a bit of freedom in the early game. It does give me a lot of early incremental advantages. Like this holy site is going to be really strong. It's pushing me towards astrology which I guess animal husbandry is the best chance of revealing astrology here. What's the best for my empire overall? Animal husbandry would let me build a pasture right here. Sailing would let me get these uh, sailing boats online. I'm not going to have any food problems because all of my tiles have two food on them already. So the, the fishing boats are not actually that important for me. And then mining would allow me to build a mine where I want to build a holy site. This is another good district. Look, that's a plus four campus. Or this could also be a holy site for another city if I settle my cities pretty close. The goal is to go for a, a culture victory this time. That's what I was going to say. The uh, Pedro's Entertainment Complex gives you a bunch of great people points, which means I'll probably also go for the Hermetic Order because if I can get a bunch of ley lines in my... Um, terrain or my territory that can highly highly benefit from all of my great person economy so i think i'll open with animal husbandry just to reveal horses and see if there are any better settles but mostly to flip to see what those texts are see if i can go for astrology and, and get a religion this time i went for a religion free uh void singers game last time there's brussels which is good to any of me we did get the first meet on them so that gives me a little bit of incentive to pick up a monument after this scout So, uh, regarding the shuffle, oh, I didn't finish that thought. Yeah, I've gone for a religion-free culture game, and so I think maybe going for a religion-full culture game this time would be interesting. I am, I want to pick up that monument really quick, but I need to get the settler. I'll dump a couple turns into this monument. I do think that boosts are more important now, because seeing where you are on the, um, the the major advantage of boosts is it tells you where you need to go, right? Like if I boost political philosophy by meeting three city-states, that gives me a lot of information about the classical era and also the ancient era. Actually, it looks like this time I have to go for whatever here is here. So 
We have plenty of time before we need to make civics decisions. That also could lead me to wanting to get some early culture. So I think this monument is a good idea. Once I get up to two population, then I'll probably build a settler. It does look like this is cut off. Like maybe this is a continental divide or something like that. I'm going to send my scout down. I'm going to send my warrior up. See if I can reveal a few of these uh, tiles here. We got another population in the capital. That's really good. So now up to three, which means I probably should buy that uh, sheep tile to work it. Is it really worth 50 gold? No, it's not worth that because if I don't have 25 gold in the bank, I can't send a delegation. And then that could cost me big time because it could force me to go to war with an AI that I don't want to do. So I'm going to work the inferior tile. There's a city down here for sure. This is a plus three campus because we do get that plus one adjacency from um, rainforests. Let's actually also look at the appeal. We do have a lot of charming tiles. That's a breathtaking tile. Not a whole lot of real estate for um, seaside resorts. We'd have to get the Eiffel Tower for that. Usually speaking, Pedro can be pretty good for appeal because of that rainforest ability and uh, his bias towards heavily wooded areas. Okay. So we, we uncovered the wheel and bronze were king. So neither of those is astrology. And now we're at the point where we just need to find a natural wonder in order to figure out where astrology is. Revealing iron on the map might not be a bad idea. I think I'll go for mining as it is the fastest chance to uncover another tech. There's a barbarian camp over here, so we could get the boost to um, military tradition. There's one up here too. So I'm now starting to think about all of this land. If I settle uh, southward, what do I pick up? First of all, this is a really good city. Settling on the uh, the river here, having these chops and after I buy a monument, grow it a little bit. There's another city over here on the lake. Maybe like right here, working all of this stuff. Not a lot of production, but definitely a lot of food there. I'm going to wait for Code of Laws here. Where am I sending this settler, actually? So we met another city-state. We met Hattusa. We get the first meet on Hattusa. So that implies that we have a lot of space over here. Didn't I say I was going to wait for Code of Laws? I did, didn't I? So now with this barbarian camp here, it's kind of unsafe to send the settler that far south. And I can't settle this tile. I could settle this one right here. That would zone out the city a little bit. But it is a plus four harbor. Let's see, Brussels is preventing any settles on this lake, which is unfortunate. I would like to settle on fresh water. Maybe I just hold on for a minute and I uh, try and get the clear on this camp and then see what tiles are up north. We'll take God King because we kind of want to slow the, the roll of the settler. This is still a major defeat, but whatever. I'm nowhere close to a promotion. And craftsmanship is the first one. Looks like this is a little bit, a little uh, lake here. Which means a harbor city over here, or sorry, a canal city could be kind of interesting. If this is all lake, that could, I could build a canal here and uh, be able to trade, use, Rio, or use that canal to have Rio trade with the rest of the world. I kind of like that idea. I'm going to fortify till healed. And yeah, the fact that I have to fortify here and heal up before I can kill these barbarians kind of lends me towards sitting, settling this uh, the city. It's got good tiles. It's got a 2-2 two -two tile here, a 2-2 two -two tile there. It's on a plains hill. Yeah, this is, this is a pretty solid city. It can build a quick harbor. 
course, we need to figure out where Celestial Navigation is, but uh, it's no big deal. I'd like to go for Hermetic Order this time because uh, we have such a good, great person generation. But I need to find a wonder for that. So maybe going for a, another scout pretty quickly could help. That would also help me figure out where to go settle. Looks like we uncovered irrigation. Let's go towards sailing. Sailing would actually benefit me by allowing me to build fishing boats. And then I could take God of Craftsman. God of God of Craftsmanship. God of God of the Sea. Why do I always say God of Craftsmanship? It doesn't make any sense. It's just something that's like stuck in my brain. Like, you know how you mishear a song lyric and then you can't stop mishearing the song lyric that way? And you you get self-conscious because you're like, oh my gosh, everyone's like paying attention to the fact that I'm singing along to these lyrics incorrectly. Like a uh, steel drum band for Kokomo was one of those for me. I had no idea what that was. And so I was like, oh, no. I can't even remember what I filled it in. Luckily, apparently that, that phenomenon doesn't, uh, it's not a permanent condition because I can't even remember how I mis misremembered steel, steel drum band. The tundra over here. Okay, so we can get the clear on the barbarian camp. We can also see what kind of stuff is over here. There is a river over here. So maybe our second settler comes up. And there's our astrology boost. Where's Zhang Ye? So I'm going to go ahead and take the hill promotion. And we're going to see... Gosh, that's a plus four campus. That's a plus... Well, that's a gem tile. But that's a plus four campus. With sugar and just... It's so good. One, two, three. Settle on the sugar. And I get Zhang Ye Danxia. What does this do again? Shang Ye, come on. It provides two great general and two great merchant points if I own at least one of those tiles. So that's not a super high priority. But if I get the order, which I did not get the order from... Oh no, that's bad. Because I found a wonder and I did not get the order. So what, what are the odds that I find the hermetic order from another wonder? This could be another um, Void Singers game, which would be fine. I was kind of hoping a Hermetic Order, because like, Hermetic Order would be interesting with Pedro, because Pedro has such good, great person generation. Like, we won't really need all of those. Uh... Oh no, no, no. What was I saying? We won't really need all of those extra um, relics and things. But I guess, I mean, I have to do what the game's telling me to do, which is to go to the Void Singers if I have. I need to find either of those. I haven't found a single um, society yet. So I think I'm going to get a Slinger here so I can deal with this Barbarian camp, which I've just settled next to. And then we're going to move around. I don't really need to see more of the tundra. I would like to see what's over here. See if this is in fact a... Um, little lake. Please don't flood. This is a plus three holy site. This is also a plus three holy site. This is a plus four. But it's a good tile. So... I think... All told probably settling on this tile let's see one two three i could settle on this tile but that's a good um district so campus and holy site are both possible for this one settling right here and then getting a campus in it and picking up these production tiles yeah that's fine is this a mine or is this a hill yeah these are hills that's not a hill. So I've been scouted. I think what I might do is just buy the Barbarian Camp. Because I've already cleared a Barbarian Camp. It is worth Aeroscore to clear it. 
But then that way I can deal with the barbarians with the slinger. I need a goge, which will happen in six turns. But I can't let them just rage and raid me. I'll deal with the limited number of barbarians better than if I had uh, let the camp go on its own. The problem is I bought pretty terrible tiles there. It's not like I had the benefit of buying good tiles to do that. I think it's time to go for a slinger so I can deal with these barbarians. Ultimately, owning three archers gives me the boost to machinery. And this might be helpful because, uh, yeah, this is going to... I think this is a necessary evil. I would like to get another city as quickly as I can. I'm going to move off of the floodplain to um, heal my warrior. And I'll just uh, I'll move forward one tile and get more vision. And then I'll start healing up. I didn't like where he was because I... Like, theoretically, a barbarian could show up. This way I can at least see them coming. Or at least there's a better chance to. Okay, so there's a chance to join the Hermetic Order. Great Bath is gone, like we expected. Oh, writing's up here. Uh-oh. Oh, astrology was down here. I forgot. Okay, so I finished sailing rather than go for astrology, but I think that's fine. I think one thing about the Tekken Civic Shuffle is that it is going to delay every Civ's ability to get great profits. So that could actually be interesting in shaking up the early religion plays on Deity. Because usually you have to go a very specific way if you want to get a religion. Okay, it looks like this is in fact not a um, little uh, inlet, but I think a canal here still could be pretty good for trading purposes. And I can't help but notice that I didn't get the join on that society uh, either. This might be just a, a late societies game. Usually I've uncovered at least two societies by now. Sometimes, like rarely even all four of them. Let's go for another settler. We definitely need to get another city online. It looks like there's a target over here to for them to suicide into. So maybe building the slinger wasn't the best idea. But I could get the boost for archery if I play my cards right. Or I, I should say if uh, the cards play themselves right, because there's not much I can do. One thing I could do is go for Alza Minerva and go for a harbor economy, although this will be the third harbor economy that in a row that I've uploaded. Or is it second? I don't know. I do have a Victoria game that I haven't uploaded yet. I'm wondering, like... Eh, that doesn't matter to anybody else but me, so I'm not going to say that. I think we go for early empire so we can get these settlers online. They also gives me a governor promotion. I think there might be a city-state over here, so I'm going to rush to meet that city-state because I can find where political philosophy is. And we still want God King because we still need to find our uh, pantheon. But I think rather than discipline, I think maybe taking a goge would be the right call. Well, I'm not really planning on producing. Yeah, no, it's not. We'll keep discipline. So yeah, things are good there. So we boosted early empire. Let's go meet whatever this is. If it's a player, I'll be a little bit upset. But if it's a city-state, then it'll be great. So we need a monument in here. We also need to buy this tile. I think it's worth it to buy this tile so I can work the extra production. And then I think I'm going to build a monument in here. I'm going to try and zone out that uh, scout and get the kill on him. Wow, this is a pretty lonely game so far. Like, where is everybody? Hey, look at that. I did a good job. We're going to hard build astrology because we want to get that uh, religion online as quickly as we can. I could also build Stonehenge now that I think about it. Because I never built Stonehenge. And the competition for Stonehenge probably would be a lot uh, slower. 
There's another good city over here somewhere, like maybe on this tile. Actually, this tile might be a little better. I think lots of land around here is ultimately mine. If I settle on the sugar, I block on another harbor. This might not just might just not be a harbor game, which is okay. Let's see. Gosh, where is everybody? I mean, I'll take it. Like, if you're gonna let me just expand as much as I want to. Where was that tribal village? Yes, okay, so I want to step on the tribal village, which gave me an envoy, but it didn't give me the Void Singers. I am playing with secret societies on, right? I'm starting to doubt myself. Did I turn it off? I don't know. I'll, I'll check once I've finished recording this episode just to make sure that I didn't inadvertently turn off secret societies. Because I should have found a couple by now. It's turned 40, or turned 35 at least. Can we kill this friggin' scout, please? Gonna take a shot against that slinger. Take a shot against the scout. Looks like I just get a lot of land for free, because I'm by myself. It's fine by me. Oh no! Why did you do that to me? How could you? Okay, so I can either get the kill here or here. I think I'd rather get the kill here. And then I can also always just uh, attack into that. But I think he'll rage and come attack me. We're a little shy of a normal age this time. So we met another city-state here. There's Cardiff. Okay, cool. So now that we have political philosophy boosted, we can tell where it is. It's down here. So after early empire, I think I'm going to go straight into that. I'm going to take my early empire. Oh, wow. They really want me to build this holy site quickly, don't they? Yeah, I think I'll get Astrology and then start building a holy site, and that'll be, probably be a good place to call it this time. I'm, I think maybe I turned off Secret Societies. Because that's another Envoy. And I haven't met the Owls yet. But whatever, if I turned off Secret Societies, I think I'll just play it as it is, because I really like this one. Okay, there's a good city over here somewhere. Like... There's probably two good cities, one here and one here. Do I keep expanding south or do I come grab this? If I come grab this, I can get a stronger faith economy quicker. Because I don't see... Gosh, this is annoying. Let me turn off that settler lens. I don't see a strong holy site placement. Like if I settle on this tile, then I block other tiles over here. It's like maybe having to settle here. But that's a plus three holy site. This is a plus three holy site and another plus three. So I think this is the stronger city. Plus it just have good tiles to work. The problem is it doesn't claim land for me. Not that is this, because this land is basically mine too. No one can get there besides me. But I think I have to come claim land. I don't even, I have no idea who's down here, but I don't think anybody is because I didn't, like, yeah, no, there's no player down here because otherwise I wouldn't have gotten the first meet on both of these city states. Yeah, I guess we go ahead and put Pingala in the capital. And that does mean that maybe there's a player over here somewhere. So maybe settling like the city that I had planned to over here would be good. Does quash one of the wood tiles. You know what? I think that's probably a good place to, to call this episode. I'll figure out where I want to settle in the next episode. 
And uh, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next episode. Bye for now.